Let's get into it. Let's just jump right into it. Joe Rogan has a night out with Tucker Carlson. What? What? Where's my episode? I've been wanting this for months. Since episode 2000, I've been wanting this. I want Tucker Carlson on JRE like I want Donald Trump on JRE. In fact, I think he needs to have both of them on. It just needs to happen. You can't have a conversation with John Haight, who's talking about Trump, you know, and his bloodbath comments being literal and not have someone like Tucker Carlson on. I don't get it. I'm going to show you guys some clips here. Joe Rogan's hanging out with Tucker Carlson. Takes him to the club. What's going on right now? Are we about to see a Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson interview? Because as of right now, it is March 21st. It is 9 p.m. right now. And there was no JRE episode today. Are we going to see one tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know what's going on, guys. Let's just play this clip. Best host of any show that has ever existed. Yeah. That's my he's position. A good host. He's so but good. But even when he's you see so it, if you saw him out, Tucker Carlson to kill yeah. Tony last night. <laughs> Tucker Carlson had. Quick warning. These guys are going to be talking over each other. It's going to get hard to listen to. This is how Protect Our Parks works. They're all very, very, very drunk. Prepare yourself. He's talking about Tucker Carlson. Let's go. Had no idea. What'd you he say? Going, How'd you set it up? How'd you set it this up? This I set it up. We were all having dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having dinner with Tucker Carlson and Lex Friedman. And we we're having steaks and having a good time. We guys talking about women's rights? <laughs> we were. <laughs> a little bit. Tell anyway, LGBTQ so and on. We were talking about wild shit. He told Most me some wild shit that I can't wait to tell you. Guys. I can't Ooh, wait well. to tell Let you really? some wild shit. Please, Please tell me about the war in Ukraine. Tonight. I'm going to tell you some shit that you're going to. It's, it's dinner, Putin. Dinner, you're just going to go, dinner. whoa. Some Putin shit. We have 20 minutes. Anyway, I like. The guy. No, He's I'm a saying, fun like, guy. When we're done here, anyway, I'm hanging out with Tucker. We're talking about the club. He's like, I think it's amazing what you've done here. I go, you want to come to the club? I go, Kill Tony's on tonight. I go, Kill Tony is the foundation. It's the bedrock of stand-up comedy in the known universe. Does he have any idea what you're the, talking about? No idea. No idea. So I have wow. to tell him. He goes, How much can comedians make doing comedy? So, <laughs> so I say, Kill Tony sold out Madison Square Garden two nights twice, in a row. Twice in an hour. Yeah. yeah. In an hour. He goes, what? I go, really? I go, I'm going to take you to kill Tony right now. I'm going to go, uh, let's just wow. go to the club. Do you have anything to do tonight? He's like, no. I go, great. So I text Perfect. Tony. Oh, I'm, on my way with Tucker, I'm on my way with Tucker Carlson. Tony texts me back. During the show. Show's happening. It's already yeah. going on. By the way, at the beginning of the show, before anything, Ashley Judd no, sings. Winona. 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 Wait, Winona. wait Excuse, what? Ashley doesn't Winona sing. Winona Judd. What? Winona Judd. Kill Jenna Tony? Judd. She sings? She sings. That, and then no one even. that up. Yeah. What the I, blame, I blame Bud Light for my poor right. man. No, Judd Bud Nelson? Best. Bud Light's the best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One thing I love about Shane is he's not a sellout. When that guy... <laughs> no, it turns out Bud Light's nice. Dude, drink responsibility I've for been it. drinking it all night. Wait, wait. Anyway, Judd? So, yeah, she killed him. Uh, she goes on stage and sings, and the audience goes bananas. They don't even know she's coming. They go, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, Ashley Judd. Ah! We're not a Judd. 45 <laughs> second round of applause, Focus. right? Anyway, so in the middle of the show, the show's already going on. I text him. I'm coming over with Tucker Carlson. Norton's on right now. He goes, jump on stage. I go, fuck yeah. Wow. So, so Tucker doesn't know this. So I'm in the backstage, <laughs> right behind the curtain. I go, this is the crowd. I go, you hear him? He goes, this is amazing. I go, we're going to go on stage right now. He's like, what? I go, I'm going to bring you up. And so Tony goes, my two favorite people just dropped by, Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson. We go to the curtain. Holy ah, shit. Everybody goes nuts. It was hilarious. Wow. Ken Patterson goes, my grandma would hate you. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. We saw him after, right afterwards. He was like, I called him a, a fuck N-word. <laughs> like, bro, it was hilarious. <laughs> wow. Tucker Carlson had some zingers. It was really? Good, he had some To zingers. surprise him with it. Where it's like, it's not just like, I'm going to bring you on stage to a comedy show. It's like, he had no this idea. This is a very specific kind of thing. By the way, Tony, you can do lots of stuff. Don't just do Kill Tony. Uh, but it, you can do. So, he has dinner with him. Him and Lex Friedman takes him to Kill Tony. If you don't know. Kill Tony, they, uh, they've they sold out Madison Square Garden. I'm sure they, they just, they do this comedy show where you do one minute of comedy and Tony Hinchcliffe, Brian Redband, and a host of other people will sit and judge the one minute of comedy. And it helps propel comedians into stardom. Unknown comedians just become stars after being on there. A friend of mine, Jared Nathan, was on there. He's selling out shows left and right now. So... Man, he brings him on, and and he's saying that Tucker had some zingers. That means that Tucker was on the show. I can't find this show. I've been searching. I have searched every type of term you could possibly search. I've been scrolling through Kill Tony's YouTube page. I can't find anything. 
I can't find it. He was on the show. He's having dinner with Joe. Joe likes him. There's some stuff that he's been told that he can't wait to tell his friends about. What's going on? I got another clip for you where he talks about him some more. I just find this all very interesting. Let's just scroll up to this part right here. Again, I apologize. They're so drunk. You got to understand. Joe has to cut loose every once in a while. Uh, now, let's get into this next clip here. It's in there. I was in the balcony with the Black Keys. <laughs> oh, they were cool. dying That's cool. That's watching cool. William Montgomery, and I set it up. It was amazing. It was amazing. Damn. Nice. It was amazing. So what's Tucker doing? What does he think after the show? Did he, he was like going it? away. We went to Bitsy's. Yeah, we hung out with Mitzi's. Yeah, he doesn't drink, right? He doesn't drink, but he's hanging out with a bunch of fucking drunks. <laughs> Got a lot of drunk. hugs. There was a lot of sweaty armpits yeah. on his shoulder. Oh god, oh, it's annoying. Oh. There sometimes. Yeah. Did you ever see that guy trying to get Tucker Carlson without realizing it's him? He's fishing in Central Park. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Some guy's like, "What are you doing here?" He goes, uh, "What do you mean? Wait, how much? How, how much time do we have?" He was very nice. An hour. How much time? An hour. Whatever the fuck we want. I'm gonna go back and come back. Go with bro. Go with bro. But he goes, "What are you doing?" He goes, "I'm allowed to fish." This podcast is like six hours old. It always is. But this is the craziest. It's the best. How many hours are we in, Jamie? Four, Four? hours. But what? we could just turn it off and keep going, but we'd be doing the same thing. We'd be doing the same. We're yeah. gonna be doing the same thing in an hour yeah. in the fucking green room. Yeah. That felt like an hour. That's what I'm talking about. The bitch. guy's like, he's like, why are you filming? The guy's like, I'm allowed. He goes, I know you're allowed, sir. I'm asking you why you're doing. He was doing so it. nice. He was so he nice. Goes, no, it's legal to fish here. The guy yeah. had no idea who he was filming. He but just thought he was, was filming a random. This was a long time ago. It was. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought it was like five years ago. No, I think it was like early 2000s. Well, there's so many narratives. He's like, you're allowed to fish in any pond in New York. Everybody's so mean. Everybody's bad. It's all narrative. It's all just like vibes and bullshit. He's not a bad guy, man. He's not. I hung out with the dude. He's not a bad guy. I met him a couple of times. Tour with the dead. He's just he's just a guy. He, Went yeah. on the road with the dead, following what? him around. He was a grateful deadhead. They got the bad idea about all these people. Yeah. He just he's in the fucking belly of the beast. Yeah. And he ten, recognizes. Ten years ago, 2015. Ten, or okay, 2015. Fly years fishing ago. in Central Park. <laughs> You're allowed... What a fucking dork. What a fucking hippie but, nerd he is. But the and thing you guys is... think he's the evil. He's a hippie. Well, he's a fly fisherman. In I mean, Central he, Park. Yeah. He lives in Maine. And he, he hunts and fishes in Maine. Yeah. And he lives in Florida sometimes. He's a good dude, man. How you doing, I'm buddy? telling you, he's just very odd. He's, he's very odd. odd. He's the most Canadian American there is. Is huh? he Canadian? No, but he's like, how you doing, sir? Right. <laughs> like, uh, he just got that vibe. But he's, he's from a... California. Yeah, he's from LA. He's a nice guy, man. I'm telling you. It's just like he takes on controversial subjects and becomes a light, lightning rod for hate. If he told it's me like, he's we, never we done mushrooms. To, we have to stay, for yeah. sure he's done If he said he's ever done he mushrooms, I'd say, I don't believe you. He did a lot of coke, man. He talks about Really? It. That was his thing. Whoa. But, but he's, I'm telling you, man. He's, he's a lightning rod for what? Why is it? Why did they get a vibe on someone? Because he was on Fox News. He was challenging them. He right. goes, we shouldn't be at war. Right. Wow. On, on Fox News, not in his off time. On Fox News, right. going, what are we doing in right. this fucking stand? RFKs against war. Well, the problem is that like we and all like, you're classify evil. people as on our tribe or yep. not on our tribe. Good or yeah. bad. Are we in or are we out? It's, it's yeah, ideological. It's too, easy. it's too dumb. And it's people it's like minimalist. us, people like you and me, and you as well, that used to be on the left. I would consider myself on the left most, most of my life until I was like in my late 40s. And I was like, what are you guys doing? This is crazy. Well, they lost the plot. Uh, the plot was supposed to be free speech, open dialogue, communication, Helping acceptance, the acceptance of all people as long as they're not doing something fucked up yeah. to, to, to fucking destroy other people's lives. I think it's just the, the militant left is what we're against. So it yes. pushes everyone to the right, but we're like, no, no. That's you guys are speaking for us suddenly. That's what China won. Mm. They won. They empowered that fucking radical, excitable, insane, <laughs> schizophrenic, fucking SSRI addled left. <laughs> Uh, the, well, left, the left that was like the most bonkers of bonkers. Shane, put your fucking headphones on. TikTok got what in there. Talking? TikTok you got, got in there. I had headphones on the whole up. time. You didn't get any. What do you think about this ban of TikTok? I it's coming. It. I love it. It's coming. We no, need it. You don't get want it out it. of our society. You don't want it, It's Ari. garbage. No. Get it out of us. And the Instagram. Problem. And yeah. Twitter. And Facebook. Ban it all. Spoken like a chew Jew. Ban it all. <laughs> Does Joe know something I don't? Oh, man. He threw that right in there at the end. Ah, man, I was thinking about that band the other day, too. I was like, because I made a video about it. And I started thinking about Saul Alinsky's work and how they talk about how the thing is never the thing. So when you see this ban on TikTok now, I'm like, ah, maybe there's something underlying. Someone in the comments is actually like, oh, if you dig deeper, you'll see that this bill actually has other things in it. And right away, what came to my mind was the Restrict Act, because a little bit of the Restrict Act started talking about if you're found using a VPN, you could face prison time. And I was like, oh, well, that's terrible. And I wonder when it comes to this TikTok ban, if it's going to be something like if you choose to use a VPN so you can enjoy TikTok as an American citizen, 
you're going to have fines and possible jail time and penalty and blah, blah, blah. And what's going to end up happening? And in order to combat that, maybe all of a sudden now everybody has to start declaring their identification online. Like, how far is it going to go with this ban? It's really making me think because China is an issue. You know, I, I could. And then someone else in the comments brought up the fact of even if TikTok becomes American owned, is it just going to do the same thing that Facebook and, and, and all of these platforms end up doing anyway? And is that any better? I kind of stick to my mindset of there should just be a restructuring all around. What these apps are allowed to do, the fact that they have this immunity, this um, section 230 immunity that they have, they, maybe keep that, maybe, but maybe do away with that. Maybe they should be liable for what they do. Maybe it'll make them act in a better way because then you'll be able to compile evidence and, you know, make a case for certain things. I don't know, but I think there should be a restructuring. You know, if, if right now, if right now you, if any platform could hear me right now, that's an issue that should just stop. That should just stop all around. You think they'd want that. I don't know, man. It's all fishy to me. It's all fishy to me. You know, sometimes I, I don't know about you. I don't know how old you are. But I can think back to the nineties when I just had a flip phone, I don't know, man, it was nice. It was nice. The computer was just for music. Go outside when you needed to. You met up with your friends. I don't know, it was pretty nice. Obviously, we're never going back to that time. I'm just saying. You think about it sometimes, you know? I'm sure older people, if you were like in your 20s without the internet and even without phones, it's like, you are living the good life a little bit, a little bit. Because who was listening to you? How could they listen to you? Yeah, you didn't have a phone on you at all times, but you also got to take in the world. I don't know. For another episode, for another episode, let's focus on Tucker Carlson. So Joe has gone out with Tucker Carlson. He's taken him to shows. He brought him to Mitzi's. If you don't know about Mitzi's, in his club, the mothership, there's a bar. It's called Mitzi's. It's where they all go. They hang out. It's, it's uh, named after Mitzi Shore, the woman who gave Joe his start as a regular in the comedy store back when he was in L.A. when he was younger. She was the first person to really say, hey, you could be a paid regular, and it meant the world to him. So he named that bar after her. So he brings him there. All this is happening, and we're not seeing a Tucker Carlson episode? I'm really hoping. Again, it's March 21st. I'm hoping I see a Tucker Carlson episode. We have to see it. We have to. Now, and of course, we have to see a Donald Trump episode as well. But if you're hanging, like, you know, Donald Trump and Joe Rogan, they only see each other at UFC. I get it. I get it. Usually Joe's not even in Texas. It's, it's not doable right then and there. They were together for hours. It was doable. You could call up Jamie at a moment's notice and be like, fire up the studio. Let's sit down with Tucker Carlson for two and a half hours, three hours, you know. My dream would be four and a half hours with Alex Jones in the corner, of course. Um, but maybe that won't happen. I don't know. I don't know. I just think we should be seeing that. There was another thing I wanted to pull up. This is just an imprompt, just out of nowhere type of clip. Who do you think is more popular? Who do you think is more popular? Ben Shapiro or Tucker Carlson? Let's see if I can find this video. Because... Patrick Bet David had a conversation with uh, Dave Rubin. I don't know if you listen to Dave Rubin. I've always found him to be very, um, I don't want to just say spineless. I, I, I don't know what, what to really say in regards to it. I've always found him to be, his views are kind of flip floppy. He kind of goes with the wind. If you ever saw him on Joe Rogan, which of course you know I did, Joe Rogan connoisseur, he kind of just agreed with whatever Joe said. Joe would say, this is what I think, and he would just go with it. And then Joe would flip and say something else, and he would go with it. And, you know, I've just noticed that from him from time. In this clip, he's talking with Patrick Bet David. I believe it's this clip. They start talking about Tucker Carlson and Ben Shapiro. Who do you think is more popular? Let me, uh, let me pull this clip up here. Let's see if I can find this for I you I actually guys. think you're both, you're both right in a certain context. I, I Let's see both right in a certain context. I don't know if you ever watched the Patrick Bet David 
uh, podcast, but he has a co-host. His name's Adam. I can't stand the guy. The guy's terrible. Terrible. Talks too much. Never lets the guests talk. Here, let's see if we can get into this. I'm going to let yeah. Dave do his thing. Uh, what I will say this, you know, there's people that overreach and that uh, on all sides, but especially on the Jewish side of things I'm talking about right now, guys, my friends, do it. Not every criticism of Israel or Jews is anti semitic I'm happy you said that. I'm sorry, but a lot of it is. Yeah, no, there's a lot, but, <laughs> a lot of but it this is. is reaching for something that's not there. I agree. I don't even, uh, the, the hag thing going to the witches Did you even know that? You're no, Jewish. No, but that that's where you get reaching. I called but, my grandmother an old hag. I didn't know it was anti semitic Last point, <laughs> uh, you know, after the Holocaust, which people are still alive you have, from the you've Holocaust. You've had seven last points. Yeah. What are your thoughts, Dave? Well, that Jews are paranoid, and that's what's going on. P yeah. Putting aside the specifics of that clip for a Second, um, I know it would be extremely good for the internet and for the warfare yeah. that we're all involved in for me to uh, go after Candace right now. But let me just say that uh, Candace and I were very good friends for a long time. There's a video where she was talking about the Muslim quarter in the old city of Jerusalem. The implication being that Jew that Israel keeps all of the Muslims. Daily Wire. Mm -hmm. I know nothing. I truly know nothing about the nature of the contract or the, how long it lasts or how much it's for or anything else. But it seems fairly obvious to me she wants to leave the Daily Wire. And I would say there's a little bit of the Tucker thing here, too, which Tucker is building a network. He now has the Tucker Carlson network. He's gone after Ben, I would say, in a fairly unfair way. Um, repeatedly going after Ben's motives, saying he doesn't love America, things like that. Who? Oh, Tucker. Uh, Tucker, yeah. Right. yeah. Ben right. has repeatedly, he did it on my show, he's done it on his show, said, I'll be happy to sit down with you. I've offered to moderate it, but you could moderate it. They don't even need a moderator. I think it would be a good conversation to have. You can have difference of opinion on, say, foreign policy or, or any political issue without going after someone's motives or saying they don't love America, that sort of thing. But... At a business level, Tucker now has a network that is in competition. He's building a network now that is in competition with the Daily Wire. So it would be pretty great to take out Ben Shapiro. That's just reality. You think right? that's what it is? I, I think that there is an element of that. I'm removing just the specifics around Israel or politics for a second and saying that there and I think Candace to her own uh, whether she wants to join Tucker or do something else after start the the Candace Owens network, whatever it might be. I think there are realities outside of just like the political fights. And that's why in this case, it actually, for me, it has more to do with that. We were friends for a while. I'm trying to honor and, and respect that. We were, we were quite good friends, not, you know? Um, and I, I think she sees an opportunity here and she's going. For why, why would, why would Tucker see Ben as, Ben as competition though? Because if you're building, if you're building a, a right leaning network, Daily right. Wire, Daily Wire is number one, right? So you go for number one. You're, you're trying to take out number one. I, I can't say that for sure. And again, this is something I've said on my show. I would gladly sit with both of them and discuss it. Uh, I've had both of them on my show, obviously repeatedly. Uh, but I think there is some reality there. If Tucker's going, well, what is the new right? What is the future you of the right? You think Tucker's just doing that to Ben because not of... just, not just. I think there are legit political right. differences. But but think about it. If you're going, oh, this guy's got the online network. That's the the right online network. And now I'm trying to build a network. It would be pretty damn good if I could irreparably wound him. That that's just reality. That that you would only do that if a guy is ahead of you. Do you put Ben ahead of Tucker? Oh, well, in terms of business, absolutely. Well, yes. Yes, I do. Actually, since Tucker has, yeah, I think. Wait, I, let, let, me, let me get to, I want to ask this very important for you. For, yeah. for, for me, I want to hear what you're going to say. So you're yeah. saying to me, post Tucker leaving Fox and even previous to Tucker yeah. leaving Fox, who had more influence in America, Tucker amongst conservatives or Ben? Previous, before leaving Fox, I would say it was pretty close to call. Pretty close to call. Not in our world. Not in the online world. I get it. I get it. In the online world, it's all about the online people. But Tucker had a huge amount of influence when he was on Fox. It's a little hard to say how much his influence is now. I, that's not a shot at Tucker, by the way. I, get, I see you on X. He has a gajillion views on everything. We don't know exactly how they're quantifying views if you just skip past it and all that. I, I, no, I know you take the counter on this. I'm, I'm not even saying I'm that. Not, no, I'm not taking a counter. I, 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 I like both guys. I, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not a... Uh, no, no, no. In terms of influence post-Fox, right? You would say his influence is, is way greater post-Fox, right? Yeah, no. There, there's two different things. There's the... the, the let's isolate concerns. The, the isolate concerns of, you know, uh, Ben... The the CEO hat, the Israel hat, the conservative hat, he put Israel one, conservative two, Daily Wire three. That's just when he did that in that event, when he called that Candace, 
he went Israel, conservative, a uh, 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 Jewish audience. Then he went CEO, Candace, part well, of his not, network. He's not the CEO, and he hasn't been the CEO. Co-founder, at least co-founder. But, yeah. but even your, when people think about Daily Wire, they don't think about Jeremy Boring. They right. think about Ben Shapiro. Right. Nobody, we know Jeremy's the operator. We had him on. We had a very good conversation yeah. with him. But you think Ben. You don't think, right. you know. The optics of it, yeah. I ben. guarantee you, yeah. if we did a poll right now, and you ask who is the CEO, who, right. <laughs> they would say Ben Shapiro yeah. when I ask you the question. Okay. Right. So you have a big responsibility because a big part of Daily Wire's success is Ben. Ben yeah. is a behemoth of an influence. But in, in, in regards purely to Tucker versus Ben, to me, you think Tucker doesn't have the kind of influence in the last since he left Fox as Ben does? No, no, no. That's not exactly what I said. I think it's hard to quantify I don't what think Tucker's it is. influence I, Can you put up Chartable? Pull up Chartable. I don't think it is because, I, and by the way, when you go to Twitter, I agree yeah. with you because some of the stuff on Twitter, you're like, 400 million views. Well, it's not really fun. Then right. on YouTube, that's 50 million. There are 350 million. million Americans. They're telling to us things. That, yeah. I, can you go yeah. up and type in Tucker? Just type in Tucker in yeah. that if you can. And does Tucker's uh, 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 show come on? It should come on. You know what? Just type in Joe Rogan. Type in Joe Rogan. And right there, Joe Rogan Experience. And if you can go to Apple, uh, go to Spotify Podcast, Top America Podcast. Sp just click on the first one. There you go. Number one is Rogan. Two is, I don't even know. So Tucker murder, three is. Yeah, ghost, right. crime. Tucker's crime. three. Now go to Apple. And by the way, and then keep going down. Huberman, you know, Balin, you got Mel, you got Call Her Daddy. You got all these guys that you're going, right? Yeah. This is you, Spotify? Is that this what we're is, looking at? Right? But, but, yeah. I'll go to Apple as well. Lex, yeah. you got all these guys, right? You don't see. Hey, you don't see, I know that hey, guy. But no, yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying is you don't see there's Candace, there's Jordan. Okay, so now yeah. go back on Chartable. And, and go to Apple, okay? And on any given day, Joe's always number one on like a golf score. But obviously, yeah. you know, yeah, Apple yeah. has different kind of algorithms. Keep going lower, keep going lower, keep going lower. You know, you got Huberman. Ben is there, yeah. 18. Go a little lower, a little lower, a little lower. Uh, 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 on the low, okay, on the Apple side, keep going lower. Does, does Tucker even put his stuff on Apple? I'm, well, but, there he is. Yeah, there, there it is. Click so, on so that. Yeah. Click on that. Click on that real quick. Okay, so now we see the ranking there. Zoom in a little bit. So, okay, so on Apple, he's 65. On Spotify, he's three, okay? So to the Spotify talent, he's way ahead. To the Apple podcast, uh, Ben is way ahead. To the Twitter views, I would say uh, Tucker's way, way ahead on the Twitter views, which Twitter is now getting God knows how many people that are logging on on a daily basis. And I would say even on YouTube, if you go compare data. So I'm asking this because I, I, uh, I wonder if a part of Candace's dealing with Tucker. So are you in are you, are you speculating that maybe, t maybe Candace is trying to leave to want to go join Tucker? I think it's definitely okay. So that's possible. what you're thinking or, or to start okay. her own network. Okay. But I think what, I got you, it. what you just illustrated there in that Tucker was way down below Ben on one of them and Apple. above on the other. Yeah. And also the daily wire has a massive subscription game. I don't think Tucker has a subscription. No, game he yet. does not. So mm -hmm. think about it. The daily wire is general. I don't know what their rev is. Maybe I don't even know if it's public, but they're generating a huge amount on that side. They they're, they're a real out. business. Yeah, they're, no, they're, no. they're a unicorn. I'm not uh, undermining the business value. I'm talking pure influence pound for pound Tucker versus Ben. Right. So all I'm saying is it's a little hard to quantify. I think we're basically, we're basically saying they're roughly yeah. in the same world, right? Like you're not giving me anything empirical here that's showing me that Tucker is blown out. They're basically in the same world. But if you're Tucker and let's say you're 65 that you just showed us on Apple and Ben was what, 18? Well, in the world that they live in, a lot of those people were doing culture podcasts and fashion podcasts. The guy you want to go after is eight, number eighteen. It's not the it's not the girl doing. I'm trying that. to really, I'm trying to really, in my mind, wrap that around, you know, to see if that's if what you took out the Daily Wire. Those subscribers got to go somewhere. I don't think, but I don't think Tucker's playing that game. You see, for me, I asked three I don't questions. Know. I don't know. I asked three questions, and I've been asking it for a while. Does Tucker want to be Roger Ailes or Rupert Murdoch? I don't think so. Does Tucker want to be, uh, uh, you know, Rush Limbaugh and, you know, just stay in this? And that's he wants to have the biggest influence politically on the conservative side. Maybe. Does Tucker want to be Churchill to go from a journalist to eventually become a president? Maybe. I don't think Tucker's goal is to be a billionaire. I quite frankly don't think he gives a shit about being a billionaire. I think he loves his life. On the other side with Ben, 
I think Ben is also a crusade guy, and his loyalty is going to be to his community. Uh, as a, a Jew himself, he's going to be supportive of that. But I think since January, since October 6th or 7th, October, October 7th, 7th event that took place, he has proven, hey, zero compromise here. This is where I stand. And in some you know areas, it's hurt him, numbers-wise. In some, it's hurt him. Whereas I think Tucker is willing to criticize his own side and the other side. And that's where Tucker has been able to stay a little bit more fluid and gain a little bit from all sides versus Ben isolated himself a little sure, bit. Now, well, I may what, be wrong. Well, what, what would you? So the conversation goes on and then Dave just says, you can't quantify it. Let's agree to disagree. And, you know, the things that Dave Rubin says, because he never wants to push too hard. But it is interesting. He's saying Candace Owens wants to leave and join Tucker Carlson, which would make perfect sense because when Candace Owens does kind of what Tucker Carlson did and stand up and say, hey, I think there should be a little bit of America first. I think there is a nuanced take on, you know, Israel and Palestine. Ben Shapiro says, maybe you should leave. Maybe you should leave the company. He completely let his emotions take over. If you go and watch, if you go and listen to his videos and his tweets from October 7th in like a month after, it's just completely just he's just engrossed with Israel. And that's where Tucker Carlson made the assumption like, hey, you're not really America first. Your allegiance, what you're loyal to mostly is is Israel and you're not as loyal to America. And there's things happening in America that we should be focused on. And, you know, Ben Shapiro actually attacked Tucker because of that. But I just wanted to show you guys that really quick because they were just talking about Tucker Carlson and what you think about that. If uh if Tucker is bigger or if Ben's bigger, I think it's unquestionably Tucker Carlson. The Daily Wire is seven, six. It's it's like six different people. Tucker Carlson by himself does more views than those six people do. And he's coming up on YouTube. I started following Tucker Carlson on YouTube when he was at like a thousand subscribers. Now he's at 1.7 million or something like that. So he's coming up real hard. Didn't even know his podcast was on Spotify. So I don't know. I just I just think it's uh, Tucker all the way. And because I say that, hopefully Tucker is trying to market himself. Hopefully he is trying to to push you know up and up and up and get more exposure. And he had been on the Joe Rogan experience, and we get to see that tomorrow. That's what I'm hoping. I am really hopeful for that. But uh, let me guys let me know what you guys think in the comments about this whole thing. Joe Rogan sitting down with Tucker Carlson, having dinner, going to shows, going to bars, having drinks. Yeah, well, Tucker doesn't drink, but you know what I mean. Having a night out with Tucker Carlson. You think he's on the podcast? I definitely hope so. Let me know. Other than that, like, subscribe, share, and I'm out.